Proper 27, Year C. From the Epistle to the Thessalonians. God chose you as the first fruits of salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This image of first fruits in our epistle shows us one of the many reversals in the resurrection. There we no longer offer the first fruits of our labors because we are revealed as the first fruits of God's labors. When we reflect on our lives, therefore, we should look not for what we ourselves have produced, but for what God has caused to grow and ripen within us. Note that we're not talking about fire and dead goats here. Gratitude, not guilt, is the usual reason for offering first fruits, and the offering is lifted up, not burnt, and then it's stored for the support of future worship. God offers us up as a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to himself, the one in whom all things were made. We participate in that same sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving whenever we lift up our hearts to the Lord in the Eucharist. God's offering is for salvation, not his, but ours. Salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. The Spirit sanctifies us, not just to make us holy, but to set us aside for holy use, just as we make our offerings at church in order to set our money aside for holy use. When we reflect upon our lives, therefore, when we look for the fruit that God will offer when he stands upon the earth, we should be asking ourselves whether the experiences upon which we reflect have opened us to the work of the Spirit or caused us to hunker down in self-protection whether the things we remember having seen have strengthened our commitment to the discovery and the deeper understanding of truth, or driven us deeper and deeper into denial. And as we answer those questions, let us remember not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, for the way day of weighing and melting is not yet here. There still is time to fix our eyes on justice and to steer our feet into the paths where they shall not stumble. In the name of the one who ever steadies our steps, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.